what's up guys this is Talha here in this video we will render backyard of Rajvilla which we have created in the previous videos by using Enscape 3d before I get started I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description now let's get started so I have already opened this project and you can see I have created this sidewalk and the roads here so I created this by using railing so if you want to know how to do that you can check out one of my recent videos now let's apply the material to this so first I will select this wall and then go to edit type and then edit and here you have this material so click on this corner here okay so for the exterior walls i am going to be using a white material so for that i will i will use gypsum wall material which is already loaded in this material browser so you just need to type gypsum here So here you have that material just right click on this duplicate and then we will just rename this to double zero exterior wall and then just click on this use render appearance and then okay okay again let's do that with the other other objects as well so the method for applying the materials to the other objects is also the same so I will skip this and get back to you once I finish applying the materials. Okay, so I finished applying the materials and now let's add the lights here. So I have already separated some light families which I am going to be using in this project. So let's load them in. So let's go to insert and then load family. We'll just go to that folder so here I have these three families which I'm going to be using in this project so if you want you can download these from my patreon so anyway I will just select all these three then open first we will place the floor lights so let's go to top view so we'll just go to site plan and then go to architecture select component and from this drop down we will just search for the floor light here we have that select and then just place let's place this in the middle of this stepping stone okay we'll just place that then select again and just use arrows arrow keys and just and adjust the placement of this and now let's see that in 3d maybe i think we need to yeah you can see it's it's above the ground so we need to take that down so let's go back to site plan and then we will create a section here so select section and then just draw a section here then press escape key a couple of times and then double click on this section to open up the section view and you can see we have our flow light here so we'll just select that and then use move and then just take that here let's go back to 3d and see this so it's perfect now we can just array this so we will not copy it will take time so we will use array and create the copies so let's go back to site plan and then select this light and then array and we will use this corner first click on that corner and then this one or maybe we will put that on the third one so let's click here and then it will ask us the number of lights we want so let's try 10 so 10 is perfect now let's add the other lights also so let's go back to architecture component and then here we will search for wall light so I will first select this one and then let's place one in the center here like so now place another one on this side now i will just mirror this one so select this and then mirror mirror from the middle of this light here and then it's already selected so i will just click create similar 
and add one more on this side okay let's select this one and then we will copy this from this corner of this light and place here and then we will just mirror that one again from the middle of this now let's add these lights on these walls also we'll place another light on this side we, uh, we have a uh, different lights for these walls so we will place them select component again and then search for wall light again and select the second one here select that and place this corner and then one on this corner here maybe we need to change the height of this so select both of these and then we will put the elevation of six feet or maybe seven okay so we finished with adding the lights also and now uh, we need to place the components so i'm going to be using nscape components so let's go to nscape tab here and then here we have this asset library click on that so here we have all the categories for the families so first i will select vegetation i will scroll down here mm let's use this one this tree 17 select that and we will place this so first i will just place that here and adjust this in the top view so i will close this asset library or minimize this and go to site plan and then i will just um, just drag this here maybe we will just move this here so it will not be in the front of this light so now let's click create similar and create another one on this side in the middle of these two lights and one on this side and then i will place on this side and then let's just copy this so we will use array so select this tree and then array from this point and then click here and let's try 10 so we, we need to reduce this 10 is too much so we will make it 8 only so put it again and it's perfect now let's add some other components also and i will get back to you once i once i placed all the components okay so i finished placing the components so you can see i placed some chairs here and some other components on this table here i used all these from this nscape asset library now let's start the nscape and see how quickly and easily we can render this scene so let's go here and click start to start the nscape so nscape is now started but you can see it's looking very weird the reason why it's looking like this is because of the settings i made earlier so let's reset all the settings so go back to revit in the inscape tab here you have this visual settings button click on that and then go to presets and then reset to default click yes let's open up the inscape again and there you go all the settings are now set to default it's already looking great that's the best part about Enscape. You don't always need to do changes in the settings for better renderings. Once you apply the materials in Revit, you can just start the Enscape and you, you will find your model ready for the rendering. So anyway, now let's set the camera here first. If you want to know how to use Enscape for Revit, you can check out my video. I already did a detailed video on how to use Enscape for Revit you will find the link in the description anyway let's set the camera here so 
so i think it's perfect let's save this camera view so go back here to revit again i will just minimize this and then here you have this create view button click on that and let's name it backyard click ok okay i think it's already here so i will just add zero one and you can see that view is now created here let's save this in enscape so to do that you just need to go here and click on this drop down and here we have that backyard zero one you just need to mark this as favorite then let's go back to enscape and you will find that view here let's say if you move the camera you want to return it back you can just hover over this and then select this view and the camera will return back to the same position now first we will see the materials if we need to do any changes for the materials let's see this one okay it's a marble material so we need to add reflection to this so let's edit this material go back here and go to manage and then materials here i have this marble material select that and then go to appearance and first i will increase the reflectivity here and then let's increase the glossiness i will just make it 200 let's see if we need to reduce we will reduce that so now click apply okay and then go back to enscape and it's looking awesome you can see the reflection is looking very realistic now let's see other materials if we need to do okay for the grass if you want 3d grass you need to put grass in your material so i will just show you here you can see i put grass this is the keyword you must need to add if you want to know about other keywords you can check out my video anyway let's go back here to enscape and see if there is any other materials uh, which we need to change for for water material also you need to add water in your material name here you can see i added swimming pool water you must need to add water to animate that in enscape now let's see this uh, we will apply some glossiness to this uh, to this wood material so let's go back here and then here we have that deck material go to appearance and then let's just increase the glossiness then click apply now let's add some leaves here to make it look more realistic so go back to revit here and then go to top view you can just go to site plan and then go to Enscape tab and select asset library and then go to vegetation scroll down here here we have the leaves so let's select this one and place one here on this side and we'll place two of these on the swimming pool we will align them so let's close this go to modify and then select align and align that to the swimming pool wall here i will just move these chairs so let's move this one here and let's go back to Enscape and you will see the very realistic looking leaves here some on the swimming pool now let's return back the camera and we will do some changes in the settings so go back to Enscape and then visual settings okay I'll just click here and take it away to this side so we can see the changes in the in Enscape here so the first thing which I, I would like to change here is the daytime so you just need to hold I on your keyboard to change the daytime you can see the time here so it seems perfect for me 
now let's do some other changes so go back here and go to atmosphere tab and then increase the sun brightness and then we'll go to image tab and reduce the shadows because it's too dark here so we need to reduce reduce the shadows and then let's add some saturation and then increase the color temperature now if you want to do any changes in the clouds you will find all the settings for the clouds in atmosphere tab here just click on that and then you will find all the settings for the clouds here if you want you can do the changes here so I am not going to do any changes here because it's already looking fine for me now I think we can render this scene so before do, before rendering this we need to increase the render quality so let's go to rendering here and then I will just increase the rendering quality to ultra and now we can render this image so I will just press ctrl plus one which is the shortcut keys I put for the for the rendering let's call it back here enter and the rendering process is now started here so rendering is now finished and let's see that rendered image so here I have that let's open this up so you can see within minutes we have created this very cool looking rendering here and now let's create the overcast rendering you only need to do a few changes in the settings so first let's close this and open up Revit again and the Enscape as well now in the settings in the visual settings here we need to reduce the sun brightness so first reduce the sun brightness and then we will increase the clouds density here so just increase that and it will turn this scene into uh, into an overcast scene so now it's still bright so you will need to change the time and just make it at night maybe something at around 6 it's perfect but I think we need to reduce the cloud density again so let's go back here and reduce this a bit now let's render this scene as well so we'll just press ctrl plus one and then let's call it backyard overcast enter and then it will take some time to render this image it depends on your machine let's see this rendered image as well so click here and then I will just open this up it's also looking awesome remember that we created both the renderings within five minutes by using Enscape 3d so that's pretty much it for this tutorial soon I will do a video on how to create animations in Enscape so stay tuned for that that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description for that and yeah see you guys in the next video